Hello, I'm Councillor Richard Dixon and I'm the Liberal Democrat candidate to be the next MP for the constituency of Kenilworth and Salem. One of the privileges of being selected as a parliamentary candidate is that you get to meet uh, many of the truly inspiring people in our constituency. Now, more than two and a half years ago now, I had the privilege to meet uh, the cousin of Richard Ratcliffe. Uh, the cousin lives in our constituency and at the time Richard Ratcliffe's wife Nazanin was being held in prison uh, in Tehran and his cousin together with uh, her husband asked me to speak to senior Liberal Democrat uh, MPs in Parliament uh, to ask them uh, to raise Nazanin's case along with uh, Richard Ratcliffe's own MP and that I did and that uh, they have done so uh, ever since. Uh, I also spoke about Nazanin uh, in the general election count speech that I gave in 2017. Now, sadly, uh, since my first meeting with Richard Ratcliffe's cousin, Nazanin has remained in prison uh, for more than 1,300 days. You may have seen recently that her daughter, Gabriella, has come back to the UK to be with her father so that she can start her schooling. At the heart of the dispute seems to be uh, the question of the repayment of more than £400 million, which was paid more than 40 years ago in the 1970s by the Shah of Iran for the supply of some chieftain tanks that were never supplied. Uh, this dispute has never been settled. Uh, as a result, um, Richard Ratcliffe has not seen his wife now for more than 1,300 days. <sighs> Richard Ratcliffe's uh, cousin, her husband, her family in our constituency have shown remarkable courage uh, and patience. But they really expect more from our government to secure the release of Nazanin, who is a British citizen. So I think it's time that we had a member of parliament who was prepared to put more pressure on the government to secure the release of Nazanin, who was prepared to put more pressure on the government to resolve the outstanding debt issue. And I hope that you will join me in supporting the campaign to secure the release of Nazanin. Thank you.